In this module, we will introduce libraries and the components panels setup and use within Altium. There are a number of library options available for use in Altium and for this series we will focus on both the project and installed libraries. We have already seen project level libraries in the SL1 project. These are included in the project and are normally stored local to that project. The scope of these project libraries is limited to the project. Here we can see PCB and schematic libraries included in the project's hierarchy. If we open the components panel and click on the three horizontal lines button, followed by the file based libraries preferences, the available libraries window opens. Clicking on the project tab, we see the two libraries listed. These are specific libraries used for either the schematics or PCB. The PCB lib file contains the footprints used for the components placed on the PCB from the design. The SCH lib file contains the schematic symbols that are placed on the schematics when capturing the design. In addition, each schematic symbol has a footprint reference pointing to its corresponding footprint. Using project-centric libraries is one way to ensure that when the project is handed off, either to another design group or between a consultant and a company, the library comes with the project. This allows the project to be completely standalone. The downside to this approach for companies with multiple designers is the risk of component creep. This can occur if there are no naming standards for components and footprints. One example would be the 2N3906 transistor. It could be called multiple things, 2N3906 or just 3906. This can lead to confusion later, especially in purchasing, with multiple components really referencing the same part. Moving to the Installed tab, there are two libraries installed by default with Altium. One is called Miscellaneous Connectors and the other Miscellaneous Devices. These libraries are integrated libraries and have the .intlib file extension. These installed libraries are located under the Altium tool install directory as such. Integrated libraries contain both the schematic symbols and their corresponding PCB footprints in a single file, rendering them very portable as they contain the basic needed elements for design capture and PCB routing. In addition, all installed libraries are available for use in any project in Altium. We will illustrate adding the WC Topping integrated library file into the installed library group so that its components can be used in any Altium project. This will be done in the exercises for this module and provides the library setup for future design examples. To add a library to either the project or the installed libraries, click on the Install pull down menu and select Install from File. This causes a window to open, allowing us to navigate to the location of the WC Topping Integrated Library, where we would select it and click Open to add it to the installed libraries. Before we do that, note there are a number of options for library types that can be added including schematic, PCB footprints, integrated, and others. Clicking Open completes the addition of the WC Topping Library. Now we can see the added library in the components panel along with the others. The components panel search feature can be quite helpful when trying to locate a particular named part. I normally use the search bar entry and start to enter the name of the component I am looking for such as cap and if I add one followed by enter the filter selects all of the cap one entries in this library. To get back to seeing all the library entries Simply clear the filter by clicking the X next to the search criteria just below the search bar. If you need to perform a more specific search, using the file based library search will give you many options to filter your results. Now you can enter multiple search options. Here we pick name and starts with. Starting to enter CAP1, we see the first option in the library pop up. Clearing everything but CAP1 and hitting the search button, we'll search this library and display the results in the library's design item ID window as you can see. One subtle thing to mention after using the search feature is the components panel category is set to file search. To get back to the general library view, 
select All or a specific library in the Categories section of the panel. Note, even when a component has been found and is selected, the Place option in the right-click menu will not become active until there is an active schematic open, or for that matter, an active PCB. Opening up the schematic, we see the Place option in the right-click menu becomes active and we can now place the selected component on the schematic. In addition to adding libraries, the option to remove libraries is supported. Simply select the library and then click on Remove. By the way, this does not delete the file and only removes the reference to it in Altium. Continuing to look at the installed library entries, it is important to note that the file order shown is significant. If, and that is a big if, you have multiple libraries with components named the same within them, the first library in order containing the named component will be used. This has caused confusion and should be avoided by either removing duplicate libraries by selecting them and using the Remove button or unchecking the activated box in this window. If neither of these options can be used, for example, you need all the libraries for some specific components, the order of the libraries can be modified by selecting the library and using the Move Down and Move Up buttons. In this module, we introduced the Components panel along with Project and Installed Libraries. We showed how to install and remove libraries, as well as how to search for a particular component. In a later module, we will cover library generation in greater detail. Please do exercise Introduction to the Libraries.